Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Sanjana. In today's video, I will be showing you a step-by-step -step process of creating a vision board. By the way, this is the final step of creating your vision board. So if you're interested to know how vision boards actually work and also how to create categories for your life, as well as what type of images you need to download, I have two videos for these things. I will leave them in the description box below. And for this purpose, like for to create your vision board, you just need two tools. One is either your mobile or laptop or computer and the other one is Canva account. By the way, you can have a free Canva account as well. The very first thing that you need to do is create your Canva account and it's pretty easy to create provided you have your email ID. And then just go ahead to this document section. You'll have two options here. Actually, you'll have more but pick either of them because it's pretty easy. If you want to use it as your desktop background, then I would suggest to use this presentation one. And if you want to print it out or if you want to use it as your phone background, then use the A4 document. I'm going to go ahead and use the presentation one. And you have two options to create. One is either by uploading your own images or the other one is by choosing images on Canva itself. If you want to upload your own images, then go ahead and choose this one. And you can directly upload the ones that are there on your laptop or phone. For this video, I'm just going to go ahead and choose the ones that are there on Canva. And you can type any image you want here. If you want yoga, then just go ahead and type yoga and you can choose any image you want. There are two types of images here. One is just for the pro version. In case you choose that, there will be a Canva watermark. So you cannot use it. It really doesn't look good, but don't worry. There are really good free images here. For example, this one, this looks really nice. It's a combination of yoga and meditation. I'm gonna use this. And what you can do is you can resize it to the size that you want or you can even go ahead and crop it. Just click here and then take out the part that you don't want. So I'm gonna take out those candles and just use this one and then click on done. So you have your first image like that. Choose the images you want. Like I mentioned earlier, any image, like if you wanna choose the images, I have the guide to it in another video. I will link it up in the description box. So next one, let me pick a house. If you want to buy a house in 2021, then this one looks really nice. I'm going to use this and I'm just resizing it. Try to keep it with very little images and as simple as possible. The main idea of vision board is to give your brain a little bit of clarity and don't make your brain confused by adding a lot of images. So we have our house and then what else? I really want to get a dog this year. So I'm just going to use a dog picture. Probably let's see. Let's use this one. It's really cute. So I'm going to resize it and then probably put it, it here. So I'm just trying to place it in different places so that it just looks a little bit nicer. And then what else? If you want to travel, then you can use a travel photograph. Let's get a bit more specific. Let's say you want to go to Paris and I'm going to use this one by cropping it a little bit because I don't want this gray area on my vision board. I'm just going to crop it and then resize it and put it here. And then if you want to buy a car in 2021, which one? Let's choose a nice vintage one. So this one as well, there's a lot of, uh, you know, space. Probably you don't need this. So I'm going to go ahead and crop this as well. And click done. I think I'm going to add it here. Okay. 
so we have the images that we need if you want to add let's add healthy eating as well why not healthy eating okay let's see let's choose this one the food looks really nice i'm gonna go ahead and add it here okay so you have all your images here and i would suggest you to add words as well on your vision board just to represent what kind of vibrations you want or whatever intention you have for this year i'm actually for this example i'm going to show you how to add a phrase just go to this text section on the left side click on add a heading and i'm going to add the phrase that i used for 2020 which is one day at a time again you can resize this by clicking here and you can also change the font of this this is a pretty ugly one so just go to this font section here and then choose i'm gonna choose moon time it's really delicate and nice so i'm gonna move it here and yeah this looks nice here i'm also gonna go ahead and add 2021 just to represent oops just to represent the year and for this i want to use let's say yeah this wand just gonna click on this and drag it here so here you have a very minimal one you can also go ahead and add any background you want for this if you don't want a plain white background so again go to photos just click on i want to add some kind of watercolor background let's add let's add this one so once you click here you can just right click and then use set image as background it'll automatically go there and i do not like how bold it is so what i'm going to do is click on this and then go to this transparency tool and then just reduce the transparency a little bit so that it just adds a tint and not it's not too bold so it's really pretty here so here you have guys your vision board is ready you can get as creative as you want you can add any elements you want here if you want to add a confetti i'd use this for to prepare a new year card you can just add anything you want there are tons of them just try to be creative just keep one thing in mind this vision board should help you gain clarity and not confuse you so just keep that in mind once your vision board is ready what you can do is go ahead and download it there are multiple options but just pick two of them if you want to make it as your desktop background then choose png because it's high quality image and if you want to print it out and add it in your room or anywhere else then you can choose this pdf print option click anything you want and then just download it Hope you found this video helpful. If you like this video, then make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.